everybody, this is Marta here on YouTube. Today I wanted to do a book review on a book that I have been reading for about three months. But before we start that, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so because it really helps out my channel. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to comment any book recommendations you guys might have. So if you guys haven't seen my playlist of book reviews and book hauls and book TBRs and anything book related really, I will link it down below if not you can go right to the eye right there and right to the eye right there what you can click the eye right there and that will take you to the playlist as well so today we are gonna be talking about the lion game by Ruth Ware if you guys haven't seen my the woman in cabin 10 book review I will link it down below again you can click the eye that will take you there um, I've read I don't know if it's her first book, but the first book that I read from her, from this author Ruth Ware, was The Woman in Cabin 10. And I have seemed to found the same exact problem with this book. Though I actually really like the book, I think it takes too long to get to the mystery itself, which is a pity because the mystery, it's pretty good. I, I really couldn't figure out what was wrong until they started giving me more and more clues almost to the end of the book. But it starts off with a girl, basically a group of friends uh, that gets called in because one of them has an emergency and you don't really see a lot of this emergency at the beginning of the book like you know why they were called in but you don't really know exactly everything that they should be saying to them but they go there, they start having a little bit of fun, they are reminiscing into their past and their memories and everything like that I feel like it's a lot of talk and not a lot of juice inside the book in this part specifically and then you get into seeing one of them specifically which is the narrator which I completely forgot her name I always forget their names have you guys seen have you guys I know there's a Fatima I know there's a Kate a Theo um, Isa. So Isa is the narrator, 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 narrator. Isa is the one that is telling the story. <laughs> Isa is basically the one that is telling the story of what is happening, how it happened, uh, her memories, pretty much everything you guys uh, hear in this book is from her point of view. And I am not mad about that. I actually really like Lee Isa. She she gets a little bit on my nerves, uh, but it is understandable, understandable given her situation. But let's just try not to get any spoilers. Uh, but I am not kidding you guys. Around the 250 pages, I was about to just burn this book. Because honestly, it is so much just... Uh, stories that she needed to put there to make it a bigger book. I don't know if you guys understand me and I know this sounds so bad but it's just there wasn't I I don't see enough um, correlation to the story for those stories to be in this book. I mean they you can you can see a relation to whatever happened uh, why they were called in but it really doesn't make that much sense to have them there like you can completely understand understand the book without uh, those little memories and stories she has but anyway moving on uh, I do have to say that by the end of the book by like 250 pages maybe 300 pages in I was really hooked on this book and I finished it in one night because I was just I wanted to be over with this book first and second off when I started actually reading more into the book like 300 pages in I really really liked the story itself it was really good it was a really good mystery and when you start seeing what happened and how it happened and this person wasn't really the guilty one it was this one so now you understand 
understand the protection between both of them, uh, you understand the hate some of them had, you, like, everything starts turning and inside your hair they are like, whoa, this is too much, I can't take this, and I love mysteries that are like that, I swear, I love the mystery of this book. The book itself isn't bad, it's just I feel there's a lot of feeling in it and not enough cake. Yeah, I'm just watching a cake video right now, so I'm just thinking that. Um, but I really, honestly, I do like the mystery of the book. I do like the story, how it's told, and how you start realizing things little by little. But I do think, I do think there is a lot of feeling in this book. Not enough for it to be in the book. Um, it's not enough of a, of a reason for it to be on the book, but I I think you guys need to give this a read if you guys like mysteries. I love mysteries. These are one of the favorite uh, genres, genres, gen genres. This is one of my favorite types of books to read, um, and I honestly liked it. I I like. I like the mystery, I don't really like the whole book, so just, let's just put that out there. I don't really like the whole book, with The Woman in Kevin 10, exactly the same thing happened. I liked the mystery, I thought it was a little bit odd, um, but I did like the mystery, I did like the last part of the book, which was how everything was explained, there was no um, um, kind of feeling stories in there, but is the exact same thing. It takes too long to get to the important stuff. And you know, this doesn't happen with books like The Perfect Stranger or All the Missing Girls, which are two of my favorite books. Um, you, and it's the same author, Megan Miranda is the same author. And it doesn't happen like that. You get to see the mystery right up front. One of them starts with um, like, a few months, a few days, I don't re I don't even remember, a few months I think it is, a few weeks um, from the day that it happened to um, to the day they solve it, but it starts backwards and it's just interesting ways to really capture the, uh, the person that is reading the book. I definitely think she should have some readings of those books so she can have more inspiration. I like the stories themselves, like uh, how they met and uh, little things they did, but really there isn't much of those stories that I can remember that really make the book amazing. So I'm just, I'm just gonna say that, but I did like the book. I did like the story of the book, not the book itself. Uh, I do like the author. I. I just think she takes too long to get to things, as I've said a hundred times on this video. But that is basically my book review without actually having any spoilers. If you guys haven't read this book or you have read this book, please leave me comments down below. Tell me what do you think. If you agree with me, if you agree with me, or if you disagree with me, why do you disagree? And yeah, pretty much that is it for today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!